Yo, we rescue one of our own. We go to islands, even if we're cast away, and never to return to our homelands. We never forget a comrade. That's some shit that Gintama does. Like, we, we, we respect our friends. We go in there, we rescue them, no matter what they've done, no matter the stupid shit. You know, you're one of us, you'll always be this. Ride or die, if you come with, like, freaking everyone here. It's just a fucking awesome chat, I could say straight away from this one. From where we see immediately Hijikata and Gintoki just going in. And it's like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? If you guys go here, you know, with like, because it's Kagura, Gintoki, Shinpachi, and Otai. They're like saying, you know, you can't pretend if you do this, dude. You know, the show will fuck you up. And they're just like, you know, fuck this. You know, we got our friends here. You know, these people saved us. And we're never to get ones, uh, like, anyone behind here. Like, what kind of people are we? Fucking Gintama is some deep shit. I just love how they just fucking crawled out the explosion just to fuck people up. And one of the best things is, like, just seeing Gintoki and just Hijika just side by side. And they're just like, you bastards. Let's fucking go. Just no words need to be spoke among men. That's one of the things. It's like, in that panel, it's like, no words. But the thing is, though, even though they're going like fucking way too fucking ape shit it's like they go too ape shit on the guys and they blow up the fucking ship so i like it's still retaining the comedy and like you fucking assholes you just blew up the ship that we needed to rescue them it was just like a what the fuck kind of moment it's like luckily they got some life uh, uh rafts just to actually even get there but it's just like one of the powers that was just absolutely amazing saying, like, okay, you know, I finally understand, you know, Kondo, what you're trying to teach us. It's like, you know, now from the bottom of my heart, I want to protect Edo. I want to protect our home. I finally become Shinsengumi. It's just like both Gintoki and him just slashing the fuck out of people. And this even they said that this is personally going to be the last battle between the Shinsengumi and the Mimawara Gumi. Like, we see those guys going in there, and they purposely let, like, Kondo and Katsura in, like, the same cell as one another because... Because they actually did want to crush them. They did want to actually final defeat them. Which is kind of cocky on their end. But like they could have just ended it there. There's like no. that What kind of defeat is that? Even fucking like some arrangements have been made. Especially as Obro. He's there with the fucking Yanagaratsu. And we even saw that they were trying to take care of fucking Kondo. They saw there wasn't any fucking hiccups. It's like yo. We're making sure that nothing goes fucking wrong. When you got Obro coming the fuck back after, like, just that injury that he had, and he's already trying to fuck some shit up, yeah, that's when you know this stuff is going to go fucking absolutely a shit. That's just, like, how this fucking chapter ends is they're just, like, all getting ready on the fucking beach, getting ready to get to that island, and it's, like... Like, I was kind of caught, even though I don't really personally care for the arc of the whole, like, hard-boiled detective stuff, I really did like this saying that, like, you know, you know, when you got to, like, um, come back and all that, that, I'll be waiting at the bar then for you with a drink in hand. Manly shit! That's some fucking manly shit right there! It's like, some emotional shit, and I can't wait to see what happens in next chapter, because that one was an awesome one. Like, Right over ground is not that like last rep two as well was awesome like right? so the chances I will admit they were like a big build up ish like but other than that I fucking enjoyed this one this is like an eight out of ten for me great setup and just great up just showing how fucking manly the Shinsengumi and as well Gintogi's group are so let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this chapter but that's all for me so thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.